Hi, welcome to Karen and Johnny Do It Raw to our special Valentine's Day edition. Woohoo! Cheers. So, uh, first of all, we're here to give Dan advice, and neither one of us have dates on Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're both single. So, we're both single, but we're hanging out. So, obviously, we don't know what we're talking exactly. about. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. It's what happens when you go vegan. You're, you're going to be single the rest of your life. So. That's not what we're saying, but it's really funny. We're going to give relationship advice and we're both sitting here not in relationships. True. But anyway, no, because I've been a vegan for, you know, almost 50 something years, it has been an interesting world. And I was married for like 30 something of those years, so I didn't have to worry about dating. It was more of a social thing being invited to events, Christmas, holiday events, or dinner parties, or going out to dinner with people, uh, generally was only challenged because the people felt challenged because me exactly. being around, it was like, am I going to judge what you're eating? That's the last thing I'm going to do because I'm there to share the evening with you and what you're all about, not the food. And I think that is a problem that people in our world tend to do. It tends to be all about the food. And I know, I know that that's what this video is about, is about food and dating and relationships. But there's so much more to a person than just what they eat, you know? But we get so stuck on that and so hung up. Now, granted, how you eat could <laughs> have something to do with your actions and reactions to things, too, because it looks like you're a big, heavy meat eater. You may have a lot more hostility or within you that could be found. But generally speaking, it doesn't have to be all about the food, folks. I think it's just a small part of who we are. But how does it relate in a relationship? And, and that's what we're here to talk about today, yeah. even though we don't have relationships. All right, yeah. go ahead. So I think it's a good thing, though, because the reason we're single isn't because we're searching for the right one and we can't find Or it. we can't find anybody. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just, you know, we're, I think, you know what you want when, it, when it's ready, right? Yeah. You know, You're not willing to settle for nothing less than what you want, basically. Right, right. And, and I think that I'm, ex well, I don't want to just talk about myself. I, I think it's, you go to, through a lot of different chapters as you become vegan of what you want and what you don't want. I think it's a growth process. Is it difficult to date non-vegans? I think it could be, but it wasn't for me initially because I just kind of took everybody for who they were. See, and for me, I guess, because my journey's still new. So when I first went vegan, I went with my ex, and we went vegan together, but when we broke up, um, I still, I don't know, I guess because I, I wasn't thinking relationships, so I really didn't think about that. I was just like, yeah, I'll date anybody, you know? I went on a couple dates here and there, and then, I, then it started making sense to me that veganism is something to me that, you know, is... It's an ethical thing, maybe? It, it's, it, yeah, it's a little bit of everything, and it just shapes who you have, are evolving to be, you know? It's like... I, w I was a certain way, and then it helped me grow into another way, and I, I don't know. I'm but I don't, I don't think you should dis disvalue other people who aren't. Do you know what I'm I know, saying? I know, because I know, and I'm not. I, I, I it, think that, like, one of my dearest, the dearest person to me in my life, one of the, the, the kindest people that has done more for the vegan world than what I know, is a huge meat eater and a hunter. Do you know what I'm saying? So... It really depends on, you have to give everybody a chance. Oh, I totally agree, but I'm just saying on, on a level of a relationship. But that's what I'm saying, you may not know how that might evolve, seriously. And I'm not saying you should run out and look for vegans, but I'm just saying, <laughs> I wouldn't close the door. No, no, you don't. And, and, and as I've said before, it's, uh, I think, I think it's kind of knowing from the start their intentions, like if they are open to it, if they're... Um, well, maybe I say, wanting maybe, to go maybe, vegan. Maybe it isn't just being open to veganism, just having an open mind to life in general. So it doesn't always have to come down to the food. Do you know what I'm saying? That's you can true. have people that can just be open about life and they could be very exciting to be around without yeah. having to be a vegan. Because sometimes my vegan brothers and sisters, as much as I love you, you can be a little boring because that's all you talk about is food. That's all you do is true. food. And there's so or, many other dimensions to life than food. No, it's true. It's just, uh, I mean, what you're talking about is, I think, even sometimes harder to find than just a good, you know, a, a vegan. Exactly. Somebody it's hard that's well-rounded. Exactly. Somebody that 
has many interests, many passions, many loves. It doesn't have to always be about the food. Mm -hmm. Now, would I settle down long term forever and ever with a non-vegan? I don't know because I don't know, and I know it's one of your questions, but I don't know that I could be intimate with someone that isn't at this stage of the game. Only not because they're choosing to stick a stick in their mouth, but after that stick gets in the mouth, you smell differently. Everything about you. And like you were saying, you exchange fluids and it's... Yeah. But see, they didn't hear that other part, so you're saying yeah. now that this... Well, you said it before. <laughs> I mean, we've talked about it in lives, about the smells, the fluids, everything, so... Um, Absolutely. And like I was saying, I, I, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite about it. I do agree I would be open to that possibility of a non-vegan but again very open-minded and well you have a bigger choice now too than I did when I was I yeah. mean, the world of the, the vegan world has grown so much True. that it's not such a, a hard jump to find somebody in your same food yeah, especially food. when you're in the social media world yeah but I'm just looking at it you know I tend to like to be around all kinds of people because there's they come from so many different avenues. I'm just saying, no, I understand, I because you know when I'm- I guess I'm just in the wrong environment because no, there's you're a lot a of people where I just kind of protect myself and I'm like, whoa, there's too much no. come, people coming at you with all types of- Well, people. that's because of the social media. I'm talking about like when you meet somebody at a party the old fashioned way. Yeah, I don't, I don't at know. At a dinner that party. <laughs> I don't, know. I don't even know what that is. World. You know, you meet at a dinner party and you can accept. On the social media thing, I mean, it's, it's amazing what's going on. That's why, fortunately, he's bringing me more into this world because, uh, and it's a scary world too because you got everything you do, everything you say, it's all out there. You meet people out there. on a whole different level than what you met before. Yeah. So you can kind of pick and choose. Too, more so. See, and I guess I'm spoiled in that respect because, like I was saying, I was I went vegan with my ex. So when I broke up, I played around with dating. Um, but I'm so into the social media world that I feel like the world's vegan sometimes because that's all I and follow that, exactly. and affiliate with are vegans. So then I come out and I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. you know, it's not it's not the case. So um, I'm okay. I mean, it's not all like right. I'm not, who, who's your who's your um, your celebrity crush? Anne Hathaway. She's vegan. Oh wait, I want to hear one that's not vegan though. Do you have any celebrity crush questions? Uh, I'm sure yeah. I do. I mean, I'm sure. I'd like to hear it if I would say Jennifer Lopez, but she's vegan. No, she's not anymore. She only she's did not? that for a short period, as far as I know. Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, is uh, she still she's vegan? vegan. Right, Jennifer Lopez is vegan. Good night. You guys on the camera right now? Yes. It's okay. okay. That's okay. But, but lock the door, please. Thank you. We're, we're closing up here. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is vegan? She is vegan. Oh, I'm pleasantly surprised. So, oh, I was thinking of Beyonce, because she didn't remember. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking exactly. Of. Um, but I'm trying to think. There are a couple that aren't. Um, and I'm just asking, would you turn them down on a date? No, absolutely not. Like I said, I, I would go out. Um, you know, I've been on those dating apps just, just for fun, not to settle down and get in a relationship, knowing that none of them are really vegan, and I've gone on dates, and do we have anything in common? Absolutely not, but, you know, because I feel like veganism is not just what you eat, it's, it's, it's everything. It's a culture. It's a, it's a culture, it's a belief yeah. system, it's something you stand for, it's something, yeah, so, it's tough. It's tough to sit across the table. Well, why don't you ask like, me what I date with? Never mind, we're not going to get into politics. Oh. <laughs> no, never mind. Cut. Anyway, I think everybody has something to offer. Would I want to bed down with them? Not necessarily, but I think meeting people of all types is important. Okay, so you just said it. So you wouldn't bed down with them, but you would still give them a chance. Not to see if there was something more appealing or something that. As far as? Or could overcome those. Feelings of repulsion. <laughs> or, or the fluids. Yeah. Okay, never mind. No, I can only date a vegan. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no. Um, but I get what you're saying. I get what you're coming from. And I totally, I, that's, that's the ultimate, like, meeting somebody that's really open-minded about all aspects of life and being vegan would be great, too. But if they weren't, you would give them a chance. Yeah, totally. Totally. Because most of the people and girls I've met... Um, I feel like are all just in the same, and I'm not trying to judge it, but it's, they're all in the same 
thought process and matrix and that's my nine month old um, um, Matthew out there screaming at us with certain <laughs> folks. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um so yeah. Would you date a non vegan? <laughs> Answers probably Probably not. Probably I, not. We'd be open to you know, giving getting a chance. to know somebody. And it's not about giving a chance, like we're like, ooh, you know, but it's about yeah, getting to know somebody, see where they're at and how yeah, you guys I vibe? Have a how problem. you guys vibe? I even have a problem with friends, <laughs> not in the dating sense, that are not vegan for me. You know, they feel intimidated by being around me, like I'm ch judging their lifestyle right. as they're judging mine. The only thing I'm judging theirs because they're judging me. You know, but I, I mean, I don't. I think you know we all get to make choices, and God bless you, whatever it is. And that's what I said. I think it's because I'm in the social media world that everybody that it's I different. affiliate with what? like come at me all the time with different questions and different like not attacks, what? but you know like sarcasm and stuff. So it's like I'm just it's a big reason questioning why questioning or, or yeah, challenging everything. Yeah, everything. Challenging so, um, but I just kind of played off. But anyway. If you have questions for Johnny and I, we would love to get our questions. Johnny's always uh, posting and he's helping me to learn to post more. So if you send us your questions, we'd love to do some videos with the male point of view, the 36 year old and the female point of view, the 71 year old, and maybe come up with some answers that can help you in your journey. Yeah, especially because she's been in a vegan game for almost 50 years. Yeah, over 50 years. You know, and I'm only less than five years, so. Five and fifty. There you go. Thirty-one, yeah. or I mean, thirty-six and seventy-one. There you go. Yeah. So, and the the last one. Did we cover that? What was it? The intimacy. I think we we get on it. Yeah. If you have other questions. Yeah. Or thoughts. Well, yeah. that, that's our Valentine's Day edition. There really wasn't much to it, I guess. I mean, besides. Well, we were, you know what we were dressed to like today? He's making me like Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to dress like him for our videos. No. You know what? I think it's an important part for a lot of young people, especially getting started on, started on this journey, to know that, you know what, we all have problems, whether it's vegan or not, and, you know, just go with the flow as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Your life, you know, it evolve. You know, it's funny. Another, another question I always get is, how do you deal socially with people all the time? And, yeah, it's not just about dating, but it's like you said, it's with friends and just people in general. Right. So it could be difficult. That's why I think social media is great yes. because you can you find know, a community. To exactly. When I got when I got into this lifestyle, like I had it when I was at my job, everybody always gave me shit. Always, yeah. always, family, friends, I and there's just the like all day. these pulls, and it's like you know, and most people if they didn't have the social media or That's if true. they weren't connecting or they would just say, all right, screw it, I'm just gonna do the comfortable thing and be with my friends or whatever. So I, I didn't have a community growing up with it, so it was a different, unique experience. Yeah, that's me. why you you're a legend, have, though. Yeah, that, that's, that's why, why she's why a you legend. You guys are so lucky. You have each other, you yeah. know. And I have you too now. Yeah, I of have course. you too, which is wonderful. All right, so tune in to Karen and Johnny do it live. We look forward to hearing from you and sharing your journey. Karen, sharing Karen your journey. and Johnny do it raw. Not what did live. I say? Live, you well, live, live. raw. That's One too many kombuchas for Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. We love you.